All right, we are back with day number 10 of filming myself every day for the next 30 days to build consistency and discipline when it comes to communicating and articulating my thoughts. And something that kind of dawned on me about how just in social media in general, in personal interactions with people is that it is 10 times easier to look at the negative side of things, right? I'd like to share personal interaction that I've had, or at least that I remember, right? And it's sort of personal because now just looking back of how aware I was back in the day, it's kind of sickening. It's kind of disgusting. It kind of puts a sour taste in my, in my mouth of how emotionally distraught and how triggered I was back in the day, right? And I'm going to tie this all back to present day and my perspective. But I was in a very emotional or quote unquote what people like to say toxic relationship years ago before I found my wife and got married, right? And I would just get so triggered by a lot of the things that that my ex shout out to her (laughs) Um, no hard feelings anymore but anyways I would just get so triggered by all the things that she would do right and it's sort of It sort of changed me in a way. It it changed my perspective when it comes to relationships. And the reason I was so triggered is because I was seeking something that I thought I knew I wanted. Right? And in reality, what I wanted or what I thought was I was giving wasn't meant for her personally, right? Because you could be the most, or at least in my case, I was I was loving, I was giving, right? And when you give things to people that don't deserve it or that don't appreciate it. It almost, it almost makes you think of your worth, right? But in reality, it's not you. It's really them because just looking back at it, I also realized how negative and how easy it was to be negative with my ex and it was a relationship that was destined to fail it it was a trajectory that was going there you know and and the giving side of me didn't want it to go there because Because I didn't know game. I didn't know I didn't know how to have the leverage, quote unquote. And I know and I know it sounds like I could be a dick now, which 
some shit. Sometimes I am, but I know the difference between being petty, knowing when you're wrong, knowing when to be humble, knowing when to apologize. And this is something that I developed over time from being in multiple relationships and dealing with women, right? And to bring it back full circle, what I wanted to talk about today was how you deal with negative people and how you should deal with them like customers, right? The thing with toxic people is that they thrive off of the fact that you're there and you're present and you give them the energy that they want and you give the energy unknowingly. Okay? And the reason why I should I'm I'm saying that you should treat them like customers is because it's nothing personal, you know? They're probably dealing with things in their own life that they for one aren't aware of and for two probably can't solve because they're unaware of it, right? And they're just they're just coasting through life without the awareness of that need to improve their attitude or that need to improve their their personality as a person right and when you encounter these kinds of people it's game over man like i've reached a point in my life in my life where i can tell how a person is just within 5 minutes of meeting them because i'm aware of these things right you reach a point in your life where when you have the awareness you know and you can almost like decipher the good people from the bad people and you can you can feed as well i'm not saying you, you feed off of other piece, people but you can just get that feeling of how a person is right and going back to my main point is that you should treat them like customers because you don't let them pass the surface of letting them know who you are right you keep them surface level you keep your interactions surface level and at the end of the day you remain stoic you wish them well and you have them go about their day right or in 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 most cases you you always have that option to exit right and when you do this your life not only drastically improves but but you find yourself meeting and encountering the right people too so that being said i will catch you guys tomorrow for day 11 take it easy